Okay guys, welcome back to Noob Nerds. Once again, I am uh, your host, Luke Adio. This is... Dark Hunt. My son. Um, once again, we're going to go into another unboxing from the Bones 5, uh, Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter. This time, we're going deep into the ocean for the Dark Depths. This one should be pretty cool. This is going to be one of my favorites, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know what? Let's just get into it because I'm excited about this one. Ooh, these are all big, big miniatures. Does that have a holder? Yes, this looks like the the undersea beholder. Ooh, I want. I want to paint that one. It's going to be really cool. Oh, I'm seeing, already seeing some good ones in here. Looks like we have some kind of a sea dragon. And once again, as I said, as uh, with the uh, other videos um, I, we did before, I'll take some close-ups and do some uh, some more voiceover. Um, get these glued up before that, and then make sure you guys get some good. Pictures of them. Okay, here's like a weird um, uh, water horse thing. It's not really a seahorse. It's not really, you know, the actual creature seahorse, but it's fantasy you know, seahorse, I guess. Anyway, it's kind of cool looking. Could be a kelpie. A kelpie? No, I think it's supposed to be an actual seahorse for like what mer people would have. Ah. Oh, here we got like a Loch Ness monster. Uh -huh. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Especially doing a little diorama of coming, him coming out of a lock. <laughs> yes. What is that? It is like a sea ogre. Yeah, it does look like a sea ogre or sea troll, maybe. True, could be a sea troll. Then there is this. We have this big old underwater, like mosasaur type creature. It's kind of like a mosasaur mixed with a crocodile. Uh, sorry, give me a sec on this one. Maybe I can do it this way. This one. Then there is, there's also this weird fish, fishes, dude, fish guy. Kind of cool. Uh, yep. If anybody agrees. Okay. This guy, big old giant. Look at the size of him. Woo wee! Sea giant. No, 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 no. That's gonna be fun paint. He's got this huge. Mast for a weapon. Oh. Then there is this gigantic, pretty big eel. Yeah, that's a cool eel. I, I love it. It's a moray. Ha ha ha. Huh? Sorry, dad jokes. I don't get it. Moray eel. A moray is. Oh ha 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 ha. And then there's this sea, weird sea goblinish thing. Yeah, I don't really know what there are. Yeah, kind of looks like a little sea goblin. Female, of course. Female. We got a clam. Um, uh, if you don't want that, I'll take it. Just to do it. We have a shark. Um, uh, another one of these these sea sea trolls or ogres. I I think it's a sea troll. A hammerhead shark. Where well, the first one was a great white, or a model off of a great white, I should say. Um, uh, ew. We have a dolphin. And another sea goblinish. Creature. So there's, well, I'll show you the rest. Since I have 
some of them. Whoa. We have a gigantic sea bass. Um, uh, another of these sea goblins. Looks like we got some stingrays here. Let's open them up. No. Yep, stingray or a double ray, really. A double ray? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, two final sea goblins. Another dolphin. Got a lot of these dang fish dudes. Yeah, another shark. Another cool shark. Looks like a smaller. Um, uh, this is another one of these fish dudes here. Oh, <laughs> we got shark fins <laughs> on faces. That's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. We can make a diorama out of those. <laughs> Okay guys, and now for a much closer look at these uh, minis from the Dark Depth uh, set. Uh, this is Nessie. I have not glued Nessie down yet, just for ease of you know, use when, or ease of painting when I, I go to paint it. Um, but just kind of clips on those two little pegs. Next, okay, next up we have the Sea Giant. This guy is really big. He's, he's pretty big. He's got this cool mast. It's like a weapon, a spear. And uh, just for size example, I'll put him next to one of the miniatures I've actually painted before. He's pretty big. Okay, next up is the Sea Dragon. He comes on this little clear peg. You can kind of make him look like he's swimming above the stuff. Uh, once again, I don't really have it attached yet, but I'll give you a little better view of the base. Next up is the Sea Tyrant. This guy's really kind of cool. I like him a lot. It's just basically an underwater beholder. It's called the Fathom Tyrant. I'm gonna probably do these claws as like uh, kind of like a blue crab because you know, I'm from Maryland, so uh, I still didn't put this one down on the base yet. Let's give you a little better look at the base. It's got a pile of gold and 
bodies and stuff like that. Kind of neat. I like it. Another one of the big ones. This one is called a croc, a crocosaurus. So I guess it's like a mosasaurus combined with a crocodile. Got the crocodile head. And the base. Pretty detailed. Got some coliseums back there and some statues around. Kind of neat. Maybe something from Atlantis. Okay, next we got the moray eel. Giant moray eel. So got some starfish on the bottom there. Next up, we got the great white shark. This one's pretty, it's a good size too. It's uh, not as big as the other ones, but it's still pretty big. Up next is the Dunkleostis. It's one of the prehistoric fish. Uh, wouldn't want to get bitten by this thing, that's for sure. Up next is probably one of my favorites of the set. It's just kind of neat. It's a clear plastic jellyfish. It is actually in two parts, too. So you can paint the entire interior to give it maybe like a more of a translucent look to it or something. Okay, now we have a grouper and a giant clam. Okay, we got a parrot dolphin. Looks like it jumping out of the water and the other one just swimming underneath. Okay, here is the Devil Ray. It's another one. It's actually kind of cool looking. I like this one a lot, too. It's like he's uh, gliding over some coral or something like that. Okay, here we have a Miro Flare and a Miro Harpooner. Next up is the Hippocampus. Okay, looks like we have a hammerhead shark here. And a Mako, maybe? Uh, bull shark looks like. With those, there's also a couple shark fins. Okay, this is a brine goblin Fiji. Looks like a brine goblin mixed with the mermaid. Okay, so we got some mer people here. Get those two out of there. Okay, it looks like we have some slithe, slithe here, I think that's what they call them. And finally some brine goblins.
Um, and welcome back after that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, you know, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we're no, we're obviously still new, obviously noobs. So anything you can do to help the channel grow is that'd be awesome. Um, but that was our our unboxing and review of the uh, Bones Five uh, Dark Death set. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. Have a great day.